other schools and conferences don't have the money and they, they can't put in that kind of safety system. So at the high school level, you get to that point where, well, no one really has that kind of money to, to ensure the safety of these kids. So what are they doing at the academy that JJ now goes to that makes you and your wife feel confident that he's going to be safe? Well, safety measures, I think, in high school, I think, first of all, if we can talk about Illinois, Mm -hmm. I think all of the coaches, all of the coaches, whether it be volleyball, soccer, football, name it, anything, they will do anything that is required, which they have done. They followed all of the requirements that were needed, the process to be able to play in the fall. And it's unfortunate that the governor is not letting that happen. Um, especially when you see all these states playing. So I really feel for that because they're doing everything they possibly can. Social distancing, wearing masks, washing hands, doing everything that they have, keeping kids in pots. Now, down at IMG, um, they've taken it to a, it's a, it's a whole other level. Kids can't leave campus. Um, positions are in pods. So they take the kids out and they put them in pods. They are there. They're all on um, two phase to be scattered throughout the dorms, you know, the different sets of dorms. Now yeah. they're all on two floors, the football players. Um, they have to eat during a certain time, um, masks all the time. When they're in class, walking around, they have to wear masks. If you watch a game, they're on the sidelines, they've got masks on. Um, they, they put the chairs that are six feet apart. It's weird seeing a football bench now that is no longer a bench it almost looks like it's a small theater wow. because they have the chairs that are scattered all the way apart they take it so seriously down there and it's really easy i mean especially if you think of the positivity rate in florida compared to illinois yeah um it's it's light years different but as a family you have to make the decision you make you make take the risk uh, if your child is, is going to go down into a situation like that and quite frankly, his will and want to play the game as well as what we believe as a family that it is safe for him based on what is going on um, and the precau- every precaution that they're taking, you go down there and you live your dream. 